Hello Virgo. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I am here today to do your reading for mid-December 2020. This is a general reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Angels, thank you. Uh-oh, Solar Eclipse. The coordinating tarot card for this is the Two of Wands. This is shocking changes. Hmm. Darkness, death, rebirth, suddenness, a new direction, a big decision, forces you into action, causes or helps you to break patterns, a big shakeup, a crisis. It is swift and unwelcome. This could represent a divorce or a job loss. Okay, well, that's kind of like a tower moment. <laughs> that's uh, the tower. I'm sure that the tower is going to come out in this reading. I don't know why I couldn't get that out, but okay. All right, let me, let me just run loose through the sage a little bit. Okay, Virgo, Oracle message for... For Virgo, please. So you got some type of shocking, unexpected event. Breathe. Uh-oh. <laughs> Must going to be a big one. And you're going to need to breathe. Remember to... Whatever is happening... Uh, that's my rest, relax, meditate card. You know, like, maybe don't explode. Don't get upset. Try and just take a moment to yourself and catch your breath before you, you know, make a decision or make a move or explode on someone. I mean, I don't know. Let's see what's coming out in the tarot. What is going on here? Virgo angels, please show me Virgo for mid-December. 2020 show me virgo all right knight of cups reversed making an appearance an offer turned down someone not being genuine or someone not expressing feelings i'm gonna just pull these two i'm kind of in a little bit of a hurry guys because i've been um procrastinating these readings because I've been focusing on Christmas and everything else that's going on so I want to give you I want to get them done for you so I'm getting them done all right so temperance in reverse sign of Sagittarius we are not um not compromising not getting along we do not agree on something sign uh, yeah i said sign of sagittarius right okay the king of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy this is my loving husband father card so you may be having an argument with this person you may not agree with this person the seven of pentacles you may not that's waiting you're waiting for this person to express their love after some type of argument or disagreement that is uh, Seven of Pentacles is Taurus. King of Swords, power struggle, huh? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. It's doing the right thing, thinking clearly, being very firm in his decision. He's also very judgy. Judges people or holds people to high standards. Aquarius, the star. Well... Wishes and dreams coming true, huh? Also a card of destiny. So if there is some type of sudden shocking change, know that it is destined to happen. Three of Pentacles. Okay, this is usually my work card here. So that is the commencement of business, a contract, huh? We're working together, we're making a plan, we're laying a foundation for something, or that's what we wish to do. You wish this person would cooperate, you wish this person would work with you. The Knight of Cups, that was destined to come out, huh? Uh, offer turned down flat, invitation refused, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy again. Knight of Pentacles, 
So you're turning down one offer and you're moving towards something else. Slowly. The death card in reverse sign of Scorpio. This is a difficult change or someone doesn't want something to change. So if you decide to quit a job here, I'm just saying, if you decided to quit a job, you it's almost like they are going to say you might be rejecting them and then they're going to come back with an offer because they somebody doesn't want things to change so they're coming in with an offer knight of swords of rushing in taking action aggressively the hierophant reversed and the page of cups reversed somebody's definitely not letting their emotions get in the way of something that's for sure i said this in taurus you know no more mr nice guy i was caring i was compassionate i was loving back here but not anymore now i'm going to go after and get what i want there is also what is all this I've been getting a lot of contracts and law for people, like people going to court or people like making people do the right thing. I'm amazed how that can happen sometimes. Um, I'm actually seeing a duplicate of Taurus's reading and you have Taurus, Taurus, Capricorn. This could be Taurus as well. Anyway, there's a lot of earth here, so all the earth signs must be going through the same type of energy. But I feel like these two are obviously not getting along here. There's a power struggle. I'm right, no, I'm right, no, I'm right, no, I'm right. And somebody is literally saying, someone's going to reach out and say, hey, I wish we could work together. I wish we could heal this. I'm willing to give you what you want. But you're saying... I was caring, I was compassionate, I was giving, I was patient, I was all this stuff in the beginning, and you didn't give me what I wanted, so now why would I give you what you wanted? No, rejection. <laughs> I'm following through, I'm being patient, I'm moving very slowly. You're waiting something out, because this is waiting, this is moving slowly, and this is moving slowly too. You're not, see, somebody here is in a rush. There's a deadline or something here. They're coming in and they're like, they're trying to talk their way out of something or that Hierophant is that broken contract again. Keep getting this broken contract. But you're not changing things. You're following through on something. You're not going to work something out with someone because you tried to do that. I'm also getting something that keeps getting delayed or something that is just moving very slowly. So that's what your two of wands energy is. You have an opportunity to work something out with someone that you already tried to work something out with and they told you no. Let's say there is a father who's not paying child support. I don't really see that here, but I'm just saying, maybe. And they're under some type of contract where they're supposed to pay X amount of dollars every week or whatever it is. And you were patient, you were caring, you kept giving them more time, you kept waiting for your money. And then you said, you know what? I'm going to take you to court. I've had enough. There is a child here. Broken contract with a child. I'm going to take you to court. I'm taking action. That's it. I'm tired of this. Once again, I don't see court here. Just try and resonate this story in your life somehow. And then after you filed the paperwork, now they're coming in and now they want to do the right thing. And now they wish that they could, you could work together and work this out and compromise and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, nope, not doing it. I'm following through on whatever this is. I gave you chances. I gave you opportunities. You wouldn't agree with me. You kept, I don't want to say lying because I don't really see that here. Page of Cups in reverse could be someone who's just not genuine. Someone who's just a scammer. The, the Knight of Cups in reverse is a scammer. They're just telling you what you want to hear. And you're saying, I'm not changing this. I'm following through with something. Let's get some advice for Virgo, please. Show me Virgo. How many cards is that? All right, it's only two. Eight of Cups. You feel a deep longing for something more meaningful in your life. 
In your heart, you know there's more out there waiting for you in the world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or initiate other important changes. Do what's right for you. Hmm. And there's that empress. So I definitely have a mother and a child here. Dear one, you're being called to action. You're ready to accomplish great things and truly come to the fullness of who you are. It's time for great creativity, giving birth to beloved projects, or becoming a parent. Follow your passion so that your abundance and prosperity manifests for you. So this empress is walking away. But someone's not taking it so well. They're going to try and work this out. They're going to try and fix this because they don't want something to change. I'm surprised that the Four of Pentacles is not here because I feel like someone's holding on to you. But the Empress is about wisdom. Like, nope, I've been through this before and I'm not doing it again. Let's pull you an Oracle message from the Quantum Oracle deck. Let me just put that in the sage real quick. Show me final message for Virgo, please. Show me Virgo. Thank you. There's the commitment. Somebody was supposed to do something contract right there on the table hmm i can't wait to see what this says this is events i never got this card before who's not who's breaking a contract or not following through this card shows a man signing papers at a table and it foretells a commitment on the horizon it may be in fact be the form of a romantic relationship or even marriage. There could also be a business commitment, a job offer, a partnership, a rental agreement, or the sale of a home. All of these activities bode well for you at this time. This card may also signify a good re resolution to a legal matter, especially one that you've been dealing with for a while. Of course, you still need to do your research and get a clear understanding of your part in this commitment. Investigate what is expected of you and what you can expect of anyone else involved. Being well informed will help the new endeavor to go smoothly. Indeed, being prepared and informed helps all areas of life. The universe blesses your commitments as it brings your personal power and highest intention to all that you do. I mean, that's pretty much what's going on here. Somebody needs to hold up their end of the bargain here. You signed the paper. You said you were going to do this and you didn't do it. I didn't get the return on my investment. I'm here. I'm waiting for it. But okay, with that said, Virgo, I am going to leave that there. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation. And I will see you soon.